so glad you're finally here. It took you long enough. Ugh. My head is killing me. Why are mornings so early in the day? It's unfair. I'm going to take it up with the sun to be shining like that at this hour. It's unseemly. Oh, Mary, I'm sorry you're not feeling well. Here, drink your tea. Yesterday, you did say to come by before lunch. Should we reschedule? No, no, no. I feel like death warmed over. But what else is new? It'll be fine. I was up really late last night and I didn't sleep well at all. Not everyone can be a morning person like you, Anne. So, I know Elizabeth or Russell. Code review too boring for them? Well, you know, they're so busy with all the changes. We agreed we could do the initial review, just you and me, and bring in senior management for the final approval. Where's Charles? Oh, Charles! He's out with the kiddos. I told them that he had to take them out to the park and run them around until they were too exhausted for shrieking. They're probably never coming home though. It's been hours and Charles is probably lying in the ditch, dying of exhaustion while the little monsters jump up and down on his head. And how are the kids? Perfect little beasts. I mean, they're awesome. They can get a little wild when they get all hyped up. Charles gave them some cake for breakfast, the idiot. I don't suppose I can just banish them to the park. Does that thinking make me a bad mom? Maybe industrial strength earplugs are the way to go. Or muzzles. Do they make kid muzzles? Yes, well, how about we hold off the muzzles for now? Tea. Drink it. How are the double E's? Have they been able to get anywhere? No idea. I've not heard from either Louisa or Henrietta today. I texted them to say how ill I was and neither of them have responded. Probably off doing something exciting. No time for my boring problems. I'm sure you'll hear from them soon. Like I care. They talk a mile a minute, never letting you get a word in edgewise, or else they're always on their phones. Oh, Anne, I'm just so very unwell. Why didn't we meet last week instead? My dear Mary, do I have to pull up your email? You said you were perfectly fine and in no hurry for me. Besides, I really have been so busy and have had so much to do that I could not possibly have left Kellynch earlier. What can you possibly have to do? A great many things, thanks. Someone had to back up the servers and meet with the movers and the old landlord. I had to disposition all the equipment people left behind, figuring out what to sell off and what to send on to Bath. And I had to coordinate all your upper cross work, setting up our new virtual workplace workflow procedures. And on top of that, I have my own deliverables to sort out. It's no use having control circuits if there's no hardware to control. Oh, well. But you never asked me one word about the party at the pool's house yesterday. Uh, you went? I assumed you would have stayed home, seeing as how you're so ill. Oh, yes, I went. I was fine yesterday. Nothing at all the matter with me till this morning. It would have been strange if I had not gone. Oh, good. I'm very glad you're well enough, and I hope you had a pleasant party. Mary, drink up. Ugh, but it's herbal. Be clear and live forever. Drink. The party wasn't even all that good. Nothing remarkable. It's the same old music and the same old people all the time. Also, I hate not having my own car sometimes. I took Caltrain and it is so slow. Yeah. I didn't get back to Upper Cross until nearly 2 a.m. There are all sorts of weird people on the train at that hour. I probably caught something then. So, where should we go for lunch? I suppose it's not worth asking the dynamic duo along. Henrietta and Louisa always make us go someplace dumb. I have not the smallest objection to inviting them. You know I like the places they pick. Mm. Ugh, but they always insist on going to some hippie vegetarian place. Sometimes I just want bacon. Is that so wrong? Okay, okay, I'll call. Louisa just texted. She asked if I was feeling better 
And if we wanted to join them for lunch at Hobie's, Honey Week Pancakes, here I come.